when it comes to tool holding for through spindle coolant, there's three pieces that you have to pay attention to. A through spindle coolant pull stud has a hole down it to allow the coolant to run through it, as opposed to a standard pull stud that is solid. Next, you need a tool body that is hollow all the way through. This is an ER20 collet tool holder. Also, a lot of modular tool holders are bored through for through spindle coolant as well. We'll get to those in a second. Here, I have a sealed ER20 collet. Notice the spring grooves don't go all the way through the body of the collet. The sealed ER collet allows the collet to spring, but then also funnels the coolant into the tool body, where a standard collet would allow the coolant to just blow through everywhere and make a right mess of everything. One other variable in this is that you can get a jet style collet. It's a sealed collet, but it has a few dinks around the shaft of the tool so that you can use through spindle coolant with a standard tool for chip management. This modular tool head, this is a one inch shear hog, which is set up for through spindle coolant because it has a coolant hole that directs that coolant directly onto the cutting edge. The same goes for this face mill. There's a through spindle coolant hole at each insert to make sure that you're getting the most effective cut you can get. This is a through spindle coolant drill bit. You can tell by the holes down the center. Also, this is a solid set screw style tool holder that is hollow all the way through and can be used with through spindle coolant. You'll likely get a little bit of leakage around that set screw but I just wanted to point that out. 